Hey everybody, welcome back to this Friday edition of The Loop. I'm so glad you've chosen to join me today as we wrap up our discussion on the book of Ezekiel. As you know by now, Ezekiel is a prophet. Now, I want to remind you that prophets speak about things that happen in the immediate future as well as the distant future. All throughout the book, we have seen God dealing with people who are both sinful and stubborn. But in Ezekiel 38 and 39, God is not dealing with these kinds of people in the immediate future as in a long time ago. No, in these chapters, God is dealing with these kinds of people in the distant future, like at the very end of the world. In these two chapters, we see how God is going to utterly destroy the evil that has ruined his good world. In these chapters, evil is personified as a ruler named Gog. In chapter 38, verses 1 and 2, the Son of Man is then told to set his face against Gog so that he might be destroyed once and for all. In a symbolic vision, Ezekiel sees Gog being destroyed by earthquake, by fire, and by war. Gog is finally defeated, and the world is finally free. Now, it would be helpful for you to know that Jesus referred to himself as the Son of Man more often than he used any other title. The Son of Man, Jesus himself, will destroy that evil once and for all. When that happens, all of creation will feel a renewed sense of hope. In fact, that's how the book ends. Chapters 40 through 48 are all about the hope that we can still have in our lives in spite of the hopeless situation that we see in the world. We have hope because we have Jesus, and that is what the book of Ezekiel is all about.